Hello, right, 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 YouTube player. My name is Wildboy569, and welcome back to another update video. I know it's been about a couple of weeks or so since you've seen my, my, me, my face on camera, and I'm just going to explain what I've been doing. First up, I've been busy with work. I really love my job so far. There's been a few, not many, well, not any incidents at all. It's been going smooth sailing. Definitely have been getting some good hours. I got a pretty big paycheck last week. Still got some money left over, and I'm getting paid next Friday. Uh, also, as you can tell by the shirt, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Friday night after I get off work, I'm going to a late screening of the new uh, Space Jam, a new legacy. Everybody's been giving me a hard time because I bought a lot of shirts, uh, some stuff for the, uh, for the to help to go to the movie. So I'm looking forward to this movie. I love the original Space Jam, and uh, I'm going to see the Space Jam, a new legacy Friday night. The day it comes out, I think about 9:20 because I get off work about 8 8:15, and the movie theater is just right across the street from the, where I work, which is the mall. So I can just walk over there, kill about a time get some popcorn play a couple of video game arcades and all that and so i know there's been a couple of videos out that's been uploaded today or yesterday the people already already seen the space jam has been given mixed uh mixed reception so far i've seen some video videos some people saying they loved it some people say they hated it and that's the thing about space jam because a lot of people most reviews i've seen in the original space jam most uh somebody always says they either love the movie or they hate the movie i've never seen anybody in between in between to be honest and honestly i didn't believe because I, I, when, I, when I first watched the Space Jam, because I've seen people like it or hate it, and never seen it in between. And when people say they they thought it was okay, or was okay, I didn't believe them because all, cause most, like, 90, 90% of the time, most people loved it. They say they loved it or they hate it, and never seen it mutual. And I absolutely loved it. It was fun to watch. I'm looking forward to this first one. I'm not a huge fan of LeBron James, but I do love the Looney Tunes. Uh, I got some th uh, thoughts on LeBron James, which I'm not going to say, so... But, anyway, like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing the new Space Jam. Um, what else? Oh, the 28th. Let me get my VIP thing. I saw Buck Cherry. Uh, I got to do the meet and greet game of Buck Cherry on the 28th of this month. Or last month. It was a good concert. I'll just put that at the end of the video. It was a good concert. Uh, it was a quick, quick meet and greet. I was me and like three other people there, which was a cool. So I got their new... CD right here called Hellbound, which I which was either I got this for twenty bucks there because the album came out like literally two or three days later after uh, after after I saw them at the concert I went to and luckily they had some uh, I was kind of worried about it at first because I guess physical releases of the album kind of got delayed or kind of got stuck in Europe or something and so they had this album for 10 bucks or you can pay another 10 bucks just to have a signed copy so that's what I did so it was a good concert uh really good show really fun really good show you've seen my couple of videos on there too um uh the pit was wasn't as crowded as last time and funny enough the people who I did the meet and greet with they were they were there last time and they were not they're not really not Buck Cherry but the pe other people who were in the meet and greet they were not really friendly people they were there last time they just kind of seemed rude and snotty not Buck Cherry I, can, I have nothing but good things to say about Buck Cherry I love Buck Cherry friendly guys and all that but the other people in the meet and greet i kind of had a group chat thing going on sending them and um they said um that she wanted to have her money back because they said it was a waste of time or something like that which uh you know i got to meet buck cherry had a new member in there named uh so overall a good show definitely would love we'll see if we can another show another another band i really want to see live which i think that'll be a good venue here the C is still Panther. I absolutely love still pa Panther. They're hilarious. I think the venue I saw Buck Cherry in, they would do a good show. They, it's kind of big, and they're not a very popular band, so they're kind of like big, about as big as Buck Cherry, which they play in small venues for maybe about 1,000 or 1,500 people in the venue. So this venue I've seen Buck Cherry in would be a good size to go for Steel Panther to come. I tried. I'm, on, on Facebook, I'm a top fan of the venue, and every time they say any bands or somebody suggested i always put steel panther and i'm just waiting for the day they announce steel panther to come they the, the nearest show they did was an hour and a half away and i was ugh, freaking i don't have my damn driver's license i have the money to get the tickets but i didn't have a way to get there but if i had my license and if i had my license in the car i would have gone through straight there so i'm hoping sometime hopefully i'm hoping that Steel Pan Through will be at the same city because if they come to the same venue and play in the same city that I live in, I will be getting tickets and I will be going to that show because if you've not seen Steel Pan Through live concerts, look them up on YouTube. However, they always have naked girls on stage and all that and that's why I want to go. So unless they're funny guys. If you not if you don't know much about Steel Panther, they're like a parody of glam metal bands of the 80s. Not to be taken seriously, they write a bunch of funny songs and all that. It's really funny and all that. So, uh, but I would like to see them. Would love to see Steel Panther live. Maybe 
maybe if I can, maybe if they have them, I would like to do a meet and greet with them too, if they had meet and greet options too. Uh, skillet, I saw Skillet at the same venue, I saw Buck Cherry. Um, I went with my brother, I got a sneeze. <laughs> I saw Skillet live right before the pandemic happened. And so they had VIP meet and greet packages. They had like one for $120, which was just in Q&A. You can just go to the Q&A. And they had $200 VIP tickets, which you can meet the band and have to go to the Q&A. And um, I took my brother, so my parents brought the tickets for Christmas, which they we didn't get any VIP meet and greets or Q&As. But I told myself, if I would have gone by myself, then yeah, I would have bought myself VIP tickets. So if they ever come back around to the same venue and all that, I would get VIP, VIP meet and greet for them. For seeing them too so luckily i have a job i'm able to make my own money again it feels good making my, mo my money especially when i got my check last friday i was very happy it was almost a 400 dollars paycheck it was over 400 dollars before they take the taxes out and i should be getting a bigger paycheck um next next week also i wanted to announce that i got uh frat uh last friday before i went to work i went to my local game store i was gonna get me new shoes i was get some van blue fillmore van shoes but uh I ended up buying a Dreamcast instead of Sega Dreamcast instead because I've been looking one for about six or seven months. I always go to the game store looking for one. They never have it. Every now and then you'll get like a, they get a Nintendo 64 or they get like a PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. They have a lot of Wii's. They have a lot of Game Cubes. And I saw that Dreamcast back there and I said, I'm getting that because I had the money. It was like I spent about a hundred bucks, oh, almost a hundred bucks at the local game store because I had to get the get console and I had to get a memory card too, which was in the thing you put in the put in the controller. So I don't have any games. I don't have any games just yet, but I have a game on the way. I got a couple of games in mind I want to get, but a lot of those Dreamcast games are so expensive, especially go on eBay. I did buy me one. I did buy Shinmu, which is a game. Uh, Shinmu is one of the uh, is a game which is, has Ryo ha uh, Ryo Hazuki, which is a, which is a uh, which I play him in set, uh, Sonic and Sega All Star Races. Um, what else? I want I want to get Jet Set Radio, which is another game I've looked online. Uh, Space Channel Five, which a lot of these games I have in mind. I want to get that was on the Sonic and Sega All Star Races. So I want to get I got Shinmu coming. Uh, I want to get the two Sonic Adventure games for the Dreamcast, but those are just about as expensive. I want to get Jet Set Radio, uh, Space Channel 5. I don't know about Sound about Amigo because that game's just expensive game. The, uh, the game alone, you have to get the maracas, you have to get the floor mat, you have to get a bunch of other stuff. I saw one somebody selling was having a bid up to seventy five dollars. So I want some. Probably next time I get paid, I will get Sonic one of the Sonic Adventure games and uh, maybe Space Channel Five. I saw somebody bought somebody was selling Space Channel Five brand new on eBay for like forty bucks and they had thirty seven watts or something. That probably that was yesterday and people there was like over fifty people watching that. So it's probably long gone by now. So. So, and uh, what else? So this is those are a couple of games I game, but a lot of I'm not getting rid of the Dreamcast. I've been one of the Dreamcast for so long, and I feel bad for the Dreamcast because it only lasted three years. People have said mostly I've seen mostly good things about the Dreamcast. So I got, like I said, I got Chen Mu coming. Uh, I want to get the two Sonic Adventure one and two. I want to get uh, Space uh, Space Channel Five, Jet Set Radio, and a couple other things. Luckily, so I have luckily since I have a job now, I'm able to get more games. For man, more expensive games, like more because I know I spent about thirty bucks to get Shinmu, and uh, I know Sonic Adventure. Even if you buy it, uh, buy it pre-owned, a lot of it I usually like thirty to forty bucks. But luckily, since I have a job, making more money, more money than I expected. I, ha I had forty-seven hours in the last two weeks, and I get paid bi-weekly, so the check, so the check adds up to two weeks instead of doing wait weekly. So they add up. So I had thirty hours one week. Well, I had twenty hours one week and twenty-seven hours last week. So. I was supposed to work an eight-hour shift yesterday, but I took the day off. Day off, so I go back to work Friday. Friday from three to close, and when I get off at close, I'm gonna go across the street and go see Space Jam: A New Legacy. And so, luckily, I get my check next Friday, which I have about 47 hours, which is close, to, which is a little bit over 500 bucks after taxes. I'm probably looking at uh, maybe 420, 440, 450. And that's another good thing about it because a lot of the time when I get paid I'm expecting this amount and like 95% like well 90% of the time it's more than I thought it would be because I was expecting expecting maybe 340 in my last my first paycheck or my last paycheck I got because the first paycheck was only worth one week about not 10 hours and I got like a hundred bucks so I th the next time I got paid was um I was expect expecting maybe about 340 maybe 350 bucks I got 370 I had to give 40 of it to my dad which still left me left me with 340 
um, bought the Dreamcast, so I still have about 200 bucks. As of right now, I have about $116 left, which I usually mostly spend on food before I go to work because I eat a lot of fast food, a lot, of, especially in the food court. And then I'm gonna, I have enough money. All I just gotta do is get through tomorrow and get through today. Which if I eat, oh, look, I eat cheap at the food at the food court because they have a pizza place. You can get a slice of pizza and a drink for about six dollars, which. Luckily, the drink. Luckily, I work on them all in the food court and a certain place, certain uh, pizza, pl the pizza place in there. If you ask for a large drink, if you're working, you get it's a dollar. You only get a dollar for it. So, but it's about six dollars. So basically, if I spend maybe five, six, seven, maybe ten dollars on dinner tomorrow, and if I spend six dollars, that still leaves me about a hundred bucks. The movie, I'm, it's like ten dollars for me for one ticket and like twenty bucks. So I like to get po large popcorn, large drink. It's every now and then I get a fruit snack, so maybe go play some more arcade, go play Guitar Hero and all that. But luckily, uh, I went to go see the new Spiral uh, a week after the movie came out. And it was the first movie I've seen since, uh, since the movie theater opened back up with the pandemic. There's a lot of movies got, that were supposed to be released last year got pushed back to this year. So I'm luckily, because we have HBO Max, and a lot of the new movies that come out also come on HBO Max. So my parents said they're probably going to watch it on HBO Max, but I like to go into the movies having the movie theater experience because that's, that's why I always call my me time. I like going to the movies a lot because I it's always go by myself, so it's really fun to go by. I mean, I just like going to the movies even when I go by myself, so it's fun to have my own me time and all that. So, and then, uh, what was I talking Oh, yeah, like I said, so, but I know I'm rambling a lot about stuff that's been going on because I haven't seen, because I haven't made a video in a week and I haven't shown my face in a few weeks. Another thing I want to talk about the, uh, May, I may, if I have any money left over after I go to see Space Jam, I want to get Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Uh, and thinking about it, I may make a poll on my community tab. And because a lot, because they haven't changed, the game is still the same as it was and when, when the first game came out. But there's like six or seven side stories and I... And I didn't watch any of the side stories yet, but I've seen videos of doing the side stories, and if some of them are like an hour, 15 minutes, 45 to an hour, 11 minutes long. So I may do a poll instead, because I I didn't even play the whole game because I was going through it, because I was just sad at the time seeing that, because I spoil I watched videos on it before, at, even after I made those videos. So, so as I know what to expect coming in Doki Doki Literature Club, but I don't know about the side story, so I may. Do one video of me just playing the game, with like a fit hour video of me just playing the game, so and stuff. Or I just may go through that game and just show that. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I know what the, I'm gonna definitely going to do the side stories. I'm going to put a, put a poll in my community tab if, if I should just play the whole game or do the side stories. So, uh, the game's already out on digital. But uh, it's also, it was supposed to, the physical copy was supposed to come out the same day. Same day digital come out. Came out June 30th. But before, like literally, oh, uh, five, uh, three or four days before the game came out, the physical copies got delayed to August 31st, which has caused Nintendo Switch, uh, PS4, and PlayStation 5. Luckily, I got a PlayStation 4, so I may get that one. I think the digital version is like 14, but there's a lot of stuff you can get with the physical copy as well. And I like having physical copies and all that. So I may get a, I'm definitely going to get a physical copy of Doki Doki Allergic Club Plus. So, and I may do a let's play on that as well. Maybe I may get, I may do both. I may get a digital copy and I may get a physical copy. So, I think that's pretty much it. I'm, I don't know how long it's been. I've been rambling for about, I don't know, it feels like an hour. But I wanted to give an update saying I'm good. Everything's going well. I gotta go take my dog out. That's why I'm trying to wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you read it a thumbs up. Come subscribe. Check out my social, social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on the future video. Take it easy.